Every night we check in with infectious disease experts in Boston about the latest in the coronavirus pandemic. And we're joined now by Dr. Helen Boucher of Tufts Medical Center. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. Um, so this week we've seen some conflicting information about how the infection spreads. Um, are you less concerned today about contamination through, say, surfaces or casual contact? And is there any one mode of transmission that perhaps you're more concerned about? Well, Emily, it's nice to be with you. And, you know, we're most concerned about person to person contact of this virus. So we're concerned about people who get within six feet of each other close enough for coughing and sneezing and other ways of droplets getting from person to person and getting near those mucous membranes of the eyes, nose and mouth. That's why it's so important to cover your face and to keep that distance, that physical distance of six feet or more. That's the most important uh, thing for us to focus on. Of course, we also want to pay attention to those high touch surfaces, but they are probably less important than the physical contact. Okay, good and point. Um, so we've also had conflicting messages about getting together in groups. Do you still think 10 people is a safe limit at this point? And, and what about folks who are in restaurants or maybe workplaces where there might be more than 10 people? Well, this is really important and we want to minimize crowds, right? So 10 is the number that's been focused on by the governor and other experts to help us remember to avoid crowds. Certainly when we're going to get within six feet of anyone with whom we don't live, we should be covering our face and we should be thinking about physical distance. Right. If we have to get in a group, it's better to do it outside than inside. But at this time, at the beginning of phase two, we really want to keep the group small so that we avoid uh, outbreaks of the virus and that would that stand as well for older Americans. We know the impact on the nursing home population has just really been so devastating. Do you think the restrictions that some are trying out like meeting outdoors? Is that enough protection for these older Americans? Well, we certainly hope so. And you know, every measure has to be balanced against the risks of complete social isolation. And for our older you know, community members, they've been strictly isolated now for three months and that's a long, long time. And so we believe that meeting outside and keeping that distance when outside is probably a safe enough way to have some contact with our loved ones who are older and who have been really enduring a lot of social isolation. Yeah, it right. is true though that they are very, very vulnerable and we need to be very, very careful in those interactions. Let's shift gears and talk a little bit about hospitals. They've been open now to patients with other conditions for weeks. How is that going at Tufts and what changes do patients see when they get to you for an appointment? Well, you know, it's going very well and we really want patients to know that they're safe with us and that they can come back to the hospital and get the care that they need. But we, just like everybody else, have had to change the way we behave. So we've enacted physical distancing. We have fewer chairs in the waiting room. We see fewer people at a time. We've put up um, plexiglass and other barriers to protect uh, patients and staff uh, and taken real care to make sure there's enough hand hygiene uh, available in all the places that we work so that we can keep everybody safe. But we've had very good success and we're very happy to see our patients back in the hospital. All right, Dr. Helen Boucher, thank you so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it.